Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Piles. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video to show you our new floor planner and 3D rendering software. And in this video, what I'd really like to do is just go over a number of the key features that we've built in to help you build out those perfectly two scale floor plans and those really detailed 3D renderings that you're gonna be able to share with your client. So to begin with, let's just go to the very beginning and we're gonna start by creating a simple floor plan image. Now in your interface, you're gonna see at the top here, there are three options. So you've got your floor plan, you've got your 3D top down, and you've got your 3D perspective. So I'm gonna jump over to the floor plan option. Now you can see that I've already got a floor plan here in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push that one off to the side for now, and we'll create a brand new one so you can see how, it, how easy it is to actually build out your floor plan images. So over here in the right side panel, you've got a few options where you can drag out empty room templates. If I click on this option right here and click anywhere within the workable space, I can then drag out my mouse. And as I do that, you'll see that floor plan start to form on your screen. So you can click when you have it in place and you'll see all the individual measurements for the walls. If you need to adjust any of the walls within this floor plan, all you have to do is select it. You can pull it in or pull it out and you'll be able to adjust the length. Now, if you also need to adjust the ceiling height, just select on your floor plan image. And over here in the right side panel, you've got an option where you can adjust the height of the wall. If you need to delete this uh, floor plan image, just select on it and you'll see a little trash can icon right here. So you can click on that and remove it. And if you need to create something that's a little bit more uh, complicated and more detailed, that's gonna match your client's uh, physical space, then you can use the wall tool right here. So just click on that click anywhere within your workable space, and then you can start dragging your mouse around and click your way through to build out a floor plan that perfectly matches your client's home. So again, once I've done that, I can always adjust the walls after the fact if I need to, and I can always adjust the ceiling height over here. Now, once you have your floor plan in place, the next thing you can do is you can pop into the door window and trim library right here. So within here, you're gonna see a number of options for doors and windows and for crown molding and for baseboard. There is an option to include an entryway as well. So if you're not just looking for doors, you can go ahead and include an open entryway. So I'm gonna click on that and maybe I'll add it right here. And I can always increase the width of this as well. So you'll see over here in the right side panel, I can uh, increase the width or the height. So maybe I want this to be more like uh, I don't know, like maybe 50 inches wide. So we can always increase it. Uh, when I go back into the window door library, I can click into windows. And then from here, I'll be able to select a number of uh, various window options to choose from. So maybe I'll take this one right here and I'm gonna add it to this wall. And again, you can place it wherever you like within the wall. So in, in this case, maybe I want it to be centered. And of course, I can always adjust the width, the height, and I can also adjust the distance from the floor as well. So this will allow you to make sure that any of the floor plans that you create or anytime you're adding windows and doors, that those measurements are gonna be accurate to what your client currently has at home. So if you wanna see what this looks like, all I'm gonna do is jump over to the 3D top-down mode. It's showing me the room that I've already created plus the new one that I've just built out and I can click and drag anywhere on the white space to rotate this around and see it from all angles. Now, if you like what you've got with your floor plan, the next thing you can do is you can start adding in your trim and your furniture pieces and your decor. So let's go back to the floor plan here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just delete this one and we're gonna focus on the detailed one that I've already created for the purposes of this video. So we'll get rid of this. I'm gonna bring this one back into the center and we'll zoom in. And I'm gonna pop over into the 3D top down mode and just rotate this up so we can see it. Now, if you wanna be able to add in crown molding, and I'm just zooming into my mood board design by using the wheel on my mouse, you also have a zoom tool up here, so you can always zoom in and out. You can also use the left and right arrows on your keyboard to move the design board left and right and up and down. So if you want, just wanna be able to center it within your workable space, you can easily do that. Now, let's jump back here to the uh, door window and trim library. So let's say I wanna add some crown molding to this particular design. 
I'm going to pop into the crown molding uh, library here. And again, we're going to be continuing to add in options here. But uh, if I want to select this option right here, I'm just going to click on that, click on any wall within the space, and I'll have the ability to apply it to all the walls, or I can just apply it to the selected wall. So let's go ahead and apply it to all. So you can see it automatically gets added in. If I decide I don't want the crown molding in this particular room, click none, click on any of the walls, and then remove it from all the walls. The same thing goes for the uh, baseboard as well. So you would just pop into the baseboard uh, library right here. You have the ability to remove it or you can add in any particular baseboards that you like. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that you can do is you can start adding paint to the walls. So we did build in a paint uh, color library as well. We have the Benjamin Moore, Sherwin-Williams and the Dulux collection for our Australian members. And we're also going to be building in Faro and Ball, which I think is going to be a great addition. So you can click into any of these brands and you can search by specific color name or color code. And if you find a color that you like, just click on it, click on any of the walls. You can either apply it to all the walls or just the selected one if you want to create an accent wall. And when you do that, everything will fill in. The same thing goes for the flooring within the uh, 3D rendering software. So down here, you've got a flooring library and you can just, there's a number of options to choose from. You can just pick one of these options, click on it, click on the floor, and it'll immediately fill in. Okay, so now that you've got your basic shell in place for your floor plan, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is start adding in some products. So let's jump over to the product library over here. Now this product library is gonna work the same way it does within our mood board software. So all you have to do is put in a keyword uh, search right here, and then you can search for a specific item. So in this case, I was searching for a 12 light chandelier. So if I decide that I like this option more than I like the one that I've got in here, all I need to do is click on this particular item and I can click anywhere within the actual design board and it's going to appear. Now you can see here with this chandelier that it's, a, it's sitting on the floor right now. So that's doing us no good. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna delete this one by selecting on the uh, chandelier that's currently within the, in the design. I'm just gonna hit the delete key and get rid of that one. Now for me, I find that it's easier to place certain items when I am in the 2D mode. So in, in the simple floor plan mode. So in this case, I, and this is just me personally, but I find it's easier for me to look at this from this perspective and then just drag it and make sure that it's perfectly centered over the coffee table so I know exactly where it's placed within my design. And then when I have that item selected, over here in the right side panel, you're gonna see that uh, there is an image of the actual product, the product name, the source link, the price, and here I can adjust the distance from the floor. So maybe I'm just gonna put this up 60 inches. Now, if you did want to adjust the dimensions of this particular light fixture, for instance, maybe this one comes in three different sizes and you wanna be specific about the option that you're gonna be showcasing within this design. You can, of course, adjust the dimensions here. But I'm gonna leave that and I'm just gonna flip over into the 3D perspective mode so I can see where this light fixture is currently sitting within my design. And it's not quite hitting the ceiling. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on it and you're gonna see arrows on the item that point up and down. So I can basically click and drag this item up until it is sitting exactly where I want it to sit within my design. And then I'll be able to then deselect it and rotate it around and see if I'd like the placement of this light fixture within my design. So you can actually edit your design within the simple floor plan mode, but you can also edit it within the 3D mode as well. So let me show you how that works. And again, I'm just gonna move my design board over into the center of the workable space here. So let's say I wanna add in this chair right here. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click anywhere within the design board. So it's, you're gonna see a blue circle appear and that's gonna indicate where that product is gonna be placed. And from here, I can click on this item. And if I need to rotate the item, you can use the rotation arrows right here. So just click and drag and you'll be able to rotate that item around. And if I want to move this item somewhere else within my design, all I have to do is make sure that I'm clicking anywhere within this blue circle. Just make sure you're within the blue circle, click and drag that item, and you'll be able to place it anywhere you want within your design. So you can easily edit within the 3D perspective mode and within the simple floor plan mode as well. 
If you need to delete this item, hit the delete key on your keyboard and it'll be removed. Now I do want to show you another tool here because I th just think it's so handy and useful. So let's zoom right into this shelving unit. So you can see here that I've placed a number of little decor elements within here just to kind of give the client an idea for how they could style this shelving unit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this vase right here and we're going to pick a different one. Okay, so let's have a quick look here. This one will do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to drag this out to my uh, design board here. But what you'll notice is the system is actually recognizing the surface of other items within your design board. So it immediately recognizes where it can place this particular vase. So if I click here, now that I've got this kind of sitting down here and level with the shelf, what I can do is I can click here and it's immediately going to place that vase perfectly within that space. So it's really handy when you want to add pillows to uh, chairs or sofas, or if you want to add a tray to a coffee table, the system will recognize the height of the coffee table and place the item directly on top of it. So it'll make it a lot faster for you to build out your designs. Now you can of course click onto this vase afterwards and you can readjust the placement of it within that, uh, that shelf. So you can bring it forward a little bit or push it back. It's completely up to you. And just make sure it's placed exactly where you want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. And again, I'm just using the wheel on my mouse to zoom out of my design. And then I can start rotating this around and just view it from all angles and see if everything is exactly where I want it to be. If I want to zoom right in to see some of the key details on these items, I can do that as well. So you can get a better idea of the, uh, the patterns or the fabrics that you're going to be uh, showcasing within this design. And let's see, what else can I show you here in this video? Oh yes, we also have a text and labels option within your 3D rendering and your floor plan tools as well. So let me pop back over to the floor plan here. Now, in this case, if you wanted to be able to add notes to your floor plan, all you have to do is click into the text and labels option here. You can add a text label. So I'm going to click on that, click anywhere within my workable space, and then I can add in my, um, my note that I want to include. So maybe it's a case where I'm recommending to the client that they expand the opening here to, I don't know, 60 inches or something like that. So you could put in a note that indicates that. I'm just gonna put in sample text for right now. And uh, if I want to be able to adjust the font size to make sure that all my notes are the same size, I can go ahead and I can decrease the font size right here. Let me just make sure. Yep, that's 10 and 10. Okay, perfect. So then I can place this within my design. If I wanted to change up the font, I can do that here. If I want to change the color of it, I can do that here. And I can also style my notes using any of these options uh, that are available within the text and label library. So it's a great way to add in any additional notes or details that you think your client needs to be made aware of when it comes to the designs that you're creating. And it gives them the simple floor plan image that they can review as well as the full 3D rendering to really be able to see your vision take form. So there you have it. I think that basically covers a number of the key details within our new floor planner and 3D rendering software. So I would absolutely love for you to get in there, test things out, um, and just give everything a full test drive. We want to hear from you. I want to know exactly what you think of these new features because there's always going to be room for improvement. Um, and what we can do is we can just work hand in hand to keep building on those tools and making sure that you have everything you need to create those perfectly detailed presentations that you can share with your client. Thanks so much for watching.